Alabama A&M University's Bulldog Transit System getting assistance from the U.S. Department of Transportation's Federal Transit Administration. The university has gotten a little over $8 million in grant funding for upgrades and for other projects. News 19's Lindsay Smith joins us in the studio now with more on the college's plans for this money. Lindsay. Emily and Greg, Alabama A&M, one of three universities selected and the only HBCU to receive that FTA grant. I'm told the money will help their transit system transition to zero emissions. Alabama A&M looking to go green with their Bulldog transit system. After receiving $8.1 million in grant funding from the U.S. Department of Transportation's Federal Transit Administration, Bulldog officials believe they'll be able to reach that milestone in 2024. We're working as best as we can to make sure that we can do this as quickly as possible so we can show the country, the world, what we can do. A&M DOT Director Marshall Chimwazy tells me this is the largest amount of grant money the department has ever received, and there are a lot of projects they plan to use the money for. So right now we're getting it from Huntsville Utilities or TVA. We want to get it from solar, take advantage of the renewable energy. So we're building a solar farm, which is one megawatt. Along with the solar farm, Chimwazy says the money will be used to buy more electric buses. The department replaced their old fleet back in 2019. The university has six electric buses. We have two on order, so we don't know where they will arrive to make eight, but our target is 10. And if you thought the upgrades stopped there, think again. A&M also looking to expand its charging station. We're going to put two more, which can charge a bus in 20 minutes. You know, right now, the ones we have, they can charge a bus to about uh, four hours for about 300 miles. Obviously, there's a lot of work to be done and supply chain issues will only make it more difficult for the college. Jim Wazy tells me electric buses may take 14 to 15 months to come in and solar panels are in short supply. But he says they're going to hit the ground running and do as much as they can this year to get it done. Greg.